knocking on doors. The earlier part of the book is really about your experience starting out as an intelligence officer. And it was interesting. I never really thought about what that role was. But a lot of it is not clandestine. It's not covert. It's you just going to the door and waving a badge in the air and saying, hey, I will see this. Let's talk. And the badge didn't have your real name. But still, you were remarkably transparent to people about what you were doing and what you wanted from them. It's, it's a very unique experience being a Canadian spy because you're working and I'd say I'm, I'm working 15 minutes from where I, I'm from Toronto. I'm working in Toronto, 15 minutes, 20 minutes from where I grew up. I'm knocking on a door and I have a badge and it says CSIS. That's my, my face. And I called myself Andrew and I said, my name is Andrew. I'm here from CSIS and I need your help to a complete stranger. Right. And then at night I go out and I, I see all my friends and family. I lie to everybody I know about where I work and what I do versus the strangers that I'm completely honest with about where I work, what I'm interested in and what I need their help with. So it's, it, it is that funny. We, it's not a clandestine service. You know, we're introducing ourselves as CSIS intelligence officers to Canadians, uh, you know, asking them for assistance, which is why I say it's important people know about CSIS because let's say, we are operating kind of overtly in town, in a, 